So you've decided to make proxies. Now the question is how? Well, you've selected the right video for that, so let's get to it. I'll be using DaVinci Resolve 16. The first thing to do, import all the footage you want to make into proxies, then move all the footage into the timeline. Load the proxy burn-in. If you haven't checked out that video yet, the link is in the description. Now head over to the Deliver panel to set up your render settings. Select you want to render individual clips, then select the location you want the files to go. If you can, put it in a location near your raw footage, label the new folder proxies. In your video settings, your format will be QuickTime, the codec is DNxHR, and the type is DNxHRLB. Select the resolution 1280 by 720 HD 720p. This will give you a file that's easy to edit without losing detail. In the advanced video settings, set the pixel aspect ratio to square and the data level to video. You can either leave the data burn-in as same as project, or you can change it to proxy burn-in. If you're setting up a render template, setting a specific burn-in will prevent messing up the burn-in should you forget to change it. In file settings, the file should use the source name. Be sure to select preserve source directory levels. Preserve the path after the head, and shift the number so the path no longer sees the file where your raw footage is in the preview. Once it's finished, if you want to set this as a preset, click on the ellipse at the top right of the panel and save it. Then you can add the project to the render queue and start the render process. This could take a while depending on the project size and the power of your computer. One thing you can do to avoid problems should your computer crash is put your footage in multiple smaller projects and render them at the same time. That way, if something goes wrong, you can easily figure out what's been done and hasn't. So there you have it, making proxies. I hope this speeds up your editing process. See you next time.